Built by Pogo Structures here in Combray, France, the Pogo 36 is a light displacement sailboat. I have been curious about the concept of fast cruising and wanted to get a first-hand look at this award-winning boat. Well, we're here at the dock to look at this beautiful Pogo 36. Really excited to, to really tour the boat, see what it's all about. From Pogo, Coralie was super passionate about this style of fast cruiser and gave us a fantastic tour. Hey look, I fit! The standing room is quite generous at 1.95 meters, and I am just under that, about 1.9, or 6 foot 3 inches. Pogo manages to keep the coach roof relatively low, even in a flatter hull boat, by eliminating floorboards. We personally like this, as we saw the value in easy cleanup and simplicity. This boat's equipped with a lifting keel, with a 3 meter draft down, and a 1.2 meter draft up, all controlled by hydraulics. This is hole number one, so it has an older style pull-out door fridge, while the newer boats have a traditional door. Coralie also stressed the boat is not tailored to any racing rule set, meaning it is simply optimized for fast cruising. The company makes race-specific boats for this purpose alone. And these forward-facing windows make it easy to check sail trim and traffic while on watch. Pogo keeps the interior very light and simple. A real benefit here is the ease of maintenance and cleaning. And for a 36 foot boat, there is still decent storage, though nothing compared to our panda boat. Ha, ah, again, I just fit. Forward of this is one of two watertight bulkheads. Under the forward V berth is 200 liters of fresh water storage. The head is fairly roomy and conforms to the clean and simplistic design of the overall boat. At the chart table, a small PC is mounted in the cabinet and can run whatever navigation programs are desired. We were curious about condensation in cold climates, but because of the PVC foam core construction, there tends to be very little, Coralie says. The mechanical room is housed behind the engine, accessible via the starboard quarter berth, and includes hot water with an electric element as well. The engine here is a standard Volvo Penta D130 with a sail drive and two bladed folding prop. There have been some requests for electric, and those options are still being explored. She explained the boat is designed for easy single-handed or double-handed sailing. All winches are close to the companionway, and reefing the main sail can also be done from here. Instead of a typical head sail sheeting track, Pogo uses a low friction ring and several control lines which all lead back to the cockpit. This makes it much easier to adjust the sheet leads without having to leave the cockpit. Though Coralie did admit it takes some getting used to for an inexperienced sailor. The carbon bowsprit comes standard, set for flying asymmetrical spinnaker or code zero sails. 30 meters of 8 millimeter chain is also standard. Inside the locker, the forward section houses the chain, while the aft section can be used for fenders and sails. This aft storage area houses the twin rudder posts and a Raymarine autopilot ram. It's also watertight, so a rudder failure would not lead to a sinking ship. Bonus! We know this boat is quite different from our heavy displacement ML, but we on Sailing Panda are super curious about what a fast boat like this can offer in terms of passage times, ease of handling, overall simplicity, and of course the thrill of sailing fast. We hope to sail one of these beautiful pogos and show you a first-hand experience of what these boats are about. We also hope you enjoy this video and would like to thank Pogo for the tour. Cheers and happy sailing!